Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Three Geeks Flicks. Joining me is nobody because, quite frankly, I was asked to do this by myself. The Muse actually called me and said, hey, there's this video. It's about a year old, and it's from Funny or Die, which is owned by Will Ferrell, or run by Will Ferrell, however way you want to see it. And he says it involves Keanu Reeves, and it's absolutely hilarious. And I said, well, okay. And he goes, now, I just want you to watch this. And I said, okay. And he goes, no, even better, I want you to record your reaction because I want to see it and I want everybody else to see it. He goes, I can't believe this thing's a year old and you haven't seen it yet. And I'm like, I live a somewhat sheltered life, but okay, thanks, I guess. Uh, so without further ado and uh, not really to drag on to this any more than I already have, I am going to watch the Funny or Die video, Interrogations Gone Wrong, starring... I guess several versions of Keanu Reeves, so here we go. But we did it, partner. We got ourselves a real-life movie star and a scum-sucking real-life Boston mafioso. Mm-hmm. I love Boston mimosas. What do you have to say for yourself, Mark Wahlberg? I'm Keanu Reeves. You just think you're so tough with that fancy Boston accent, don't you, punk? I don't have an accent. You ever been to Boston? I asked the questions here, Wahlberg, so you shut that fat mouth. We've been watching you fornicate all over town in public places for months. Wait a second. You guys really believe I'm Mark Wahlberg? And that Mark Wahlberg has been running all over town having sex? I don't think Mark would do that. Just because you are a member of the greatest boy band in the history of the world, it doesn't give you the right to slam ass courtside at a Lakers game. No matter how arousing it is. First, Donnie was in the New Kids on the Block. Second, I'm Keanu Reeves. <laughs> What's so funny? Little tiny Mark Wahlberg here thinks he's big Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is like six foot four and from Oklahoma and the baddest son of a bitch to ever walked this planet. And don't you ever claim to be the man that changed my life with the greatest role in the history of cinema. The Lake break. House. Fucking Lake House. What the hell is The Lake House? Oh, it's a wonderful film about love and fate. Romantic love. I know, I was in both those movies. I'm Keanu Reeves. Say it again. I'm Keanu Reeves. Don't you dare say it again. I'm Keanu Reeves. Reeves. Say it again, bitch. Say you're Keanu Reeves one more time, and I'm going to have John Wick come in here and shove a baseball bat so far up your dirt diggling ass that you got to call your brothers over at Wahlburgers to come over here with some toothpicks to pull out the splinters out of your spleen and your heart and your butthole. <laughs> you know John Wick isn't real, right? I played that guy in a movie. You know? And you know you couldn't wear an I Love Keanu Reeves t-shirt without feeling the weight of a real movie star on your shoulders in a way that would make your dick shrivel. <laughs> My wife says that's normal under severe stress. And you match a description of the guy that was pumping his entourage up the ass at the corner of Sunset and Vine. Pasty white male, four foot nine. Check. Four foot I'm nine. six foot one. Stupid Boston accent. Check. I'm Canadian. And last but not least, your tiny little Mark Wahlberg. Triple check. I am so excited. Listen, you guys are the first people on earth to ever confuse me with Mark Wahlberg. He's a great guy. I'm a great guy. We're both fucking great guys. I want to call my attorney. And I want a selfie with your abs. <laughs> you piece of shit. All you movie stars are the same. You have all this money, you have all this fame, and what do you think it can buy you? You think it can buy you everything? Well, it can't buy you humility, and it can't buy you height. I'm not Mark Wahlberg. Ask anyone in the building. Bring them down, and they'll tell you. I'm Keanu Reeves. What, have you been living under a rock? God, I wish I was the rock. If I was the rock right now, I would uppercut you right in the dick. And then I would take the people's elbow and I'd drop it on your forehead like a hundred times. And I'd take a steel chair and I'd smash it over your head. And then I'd tag in my tag team partner over here and he would stomp on your nuts. And then he'd tag me back in and I'd jump on top of you and pin you. One, two, three, right in the middle of this ring. Oh, do you smell what Python is cooking? Well, 
You're not The Rock. And you're not Keanu Reeves. You're fucking crazy. And you're a fucking wacko. Oh yeah? Was the Uber cab driver that you held at gunpoint while you were jerking off in the back seat on your way to your Taylor Swift concert, was he crazy <laughs> when he picked your picture out of a lineup? I didn't do that. And then you told him that there was a bomb on that Uber cab, and you said that if the Uber cab went less than 50 miles per hour, that it was going to explode. That's speed! <laughs> I was in that movie! Exactly! Speed starring Miss Congeniality and Mark Wahlberg! Ah! You're a fucking busted booking partner! I'm gonna book them all night long. You guys are amazing! You know what? I wish I were Mark Wahlberg, because if I was, I'd call Optimus Prime, along with all of his other Transformers, and I'd get them to burn this motherfucking building down, along with you and you! I got you now, you son of a bitch. Copyright infringement. Improper use of a trademark by threatening to burn shit down with it. That's all kind of illegal, Marky Mark. You're going to prison, you short little bitch. Let's see the time of this one, Ted. I was in that. Don't you play hardball with him. I was in that movie too. I want to play hardballs with you. Whoa. I love you when you call me Big Bob. But now you're doing me. Exactly. 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 I'm not an FBI agent. I am Keanu Reeves. Oh shit. That sounded just like him. I... I think that's Keanu Reeves. Oh god. <laughs> oh. Oh, good lord. Uh, <laughs> what do I say to that? What, what do I even say that that's the first time I've seen that in a year? Oh, jeez. It's good to see the man has a sense of humor about himself. Uh, the bald-headed guy was uh, creepy beyond belief, uh, to say the least. And uh, the other guy, complete moron, of course. Uh, love the name drops and the references from all the shows. Uh, other than that, I, I have no clue what else to say to y'all other than check us out on Facebook. Three Geeks Flicks. Give us a like, comment, holler, troll us. You don't do Facebook, we've got Twitter. It's at the number Three Geeks Flicks. That's F L I X. Follow there, holler there, troll there, get involved. We want you to be part of this show. Holler at us, let us know what you think. Get involved, whether it is just to say, hey, I think you look funny. Um, just don't say that to the muse because, of course, the whole sandwich thing. Again, I know you're all probably getting tired of hearing it, but I can't stress it enough. It is what it is. So, other than that, appreciate you all sticking around and stay tuned to the glow of those monitors because we're going to catch you next time. <laughs> Good night. What the hell did I just watch?